If you're feeling that there are energies around you that is difficult, that you feel like at home, um, there's some negative energy, or you're always feeling um, sluggish or tired or exhausted, or you wanna you wanna elevate the energy even at your home, like something positive. Um, at the end of this video is I share my secret on how I keep the energies at home. And I hope that this is also gonna be able to help you. So you can watch a tarot and then at the end, I'll share you the secrets, okay? When you love, you love good. And when you fall in love, you are head over heels. The Ace of Cups, you found someone and you feel so connected with them, can't stop thinking about them actually. You're mesmerized, enamored is the Ace of Cups. You probably have found the one. Okay, Cancerian, so how are you? That's nice, I like your first card over here. This is showing that you are, lo you are in love, plain and simple. Okay, you look at how you hold that cup, the chalice over there. You feel like this is so important, this is so valuable. I love this and I'm like, how to say this is like, I'm deeply connected to this person. So I like that, I like that. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Hmm, nine of wands. So from happy to sad, happy to sad. <laughs> If I will tell you that's that's the life cycle that we have, good day, bad day, it is really. If there's anything consistent is you will have a good day and not so good day. Um, so you met the person, right? You have this connection, but then you feel like, oh no, you know, I don't really, um, like nine of wands here with the ace of cups, it feels like, oh no, like I didn't see this coming. Why am I now, you know, hurting? You know, like first I was fine, you know, like I was guarded actually, with, you know, like I was being cautious, but then I fall in love. Now I'm hurt. Nine of Wands, they did something. Nine of Wands is either they were insensitive to their message talking or talking to you or like the way that they express themselves, they were insensitive. They were not caring, loving like that. Um, you were constantly doing stuff for them and then they didn't, um, reciprocate meaning it's like you were supportive you were a fighter for this connection and then they didn't reciprocate they give up that's one of the nine of wands the nine of wands like you guys were supposed to see each other and then the other person canceled because it comes from the eight of wands there was an agreement and then they didn't show up so you felt turned down because there was a promise there the nine of wands is also the wounded warrior which like the two of you were supposed to have this big uh, plan together pushing through and then they would leave you so you let you were feeling like look at that left um, behind with the nine of wands, okay? So, wow, so it's almost like a roller coaster of emotion. Well, um, seven of cups over here, so it's showing that you feel like, well, you know, like another one bites the dust, uh, this person has been lying to me and hasn't been honest. This is the promise that they give you, and then when you look at it closely, you have the seven of cups and the nine of wands. You look at it, it's like, hmm, is it true? Not so true, is it true? Not so true. It feels like your person here um, feels, because the eight of cups is, let me see. Uh, sorry, the seven of cups here is like this whole illusion that they're giving to you. The seven of cups and the nine of wands, it's more of like, um, let me see. Okay, let me see. Because it does look like they were, tr they keep trying, okay, here, the Seven of Cups, they keep trying to project something to you. And then you have the Nine of Wands. They're looking at this right now where you're looking at the projection and it's like, that's not true. You told me I'm your true love. You, you told me this. They gave you a lot of promises, but look at that. The hermits, and then your person, like what I told you, could have ghosted you, left you behind. Um, what do you call that? Had cold feet. That's the hermit. That's a person who sings like, ooh, I'm out. You know what? I can't do this. You know what? First, I thought like, it's okay. It's good. Let's do this. Then hermit over here is showing that your person just bounds, ghosted you. Okay. Hmm. Um, two of Wands here, it is showing now that your person or the situation feels like you just want to forget this. You know what? I, you are, you're someone that I love. You're someone that I cared. I was really hoping that we can be together, but I, you turned me down. The Two of Wands, I'm just going to put this away. Okay, so look at that. You're going to put away that love of yours. So you fall in love and you got hurt. Now you're jaded basically with the Two of Wands. 
because you're just keeping your feelings aside now. You know how basically a cancer is. It's a crab, you know. It's like it's gonna hide now. So I'm just gonna hide in my shell. You know, it's like it was. It is what it is. You know? Ah, four of wands. A lot of people are getting this four of wands right now. I don't know why, but the four of wands here is showing that there was an agreement. There was a promise. And that's, you know, that's a whole relationship, the whole package. The two of you being together, you know, like harmoniously is a four of ones. So your person here basically backed out on that. I don't know if it's a backing out on marriage, like someone promised and then they're not committing to that promise. Okay. You have the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Um, they stopped communicating with you, okay? They told you, it's like, listen, we have to stop. Um, and this is where, again, you got hurt. It's like, what do you mean we have to stop? I thought everything was going fine. Eight of Wands, like, we were talking. Everything was good. But then you're, you, you basically have a person who either changed your mind, cold feet, um, and they just totally like, do I even know you? I don't feel like I know you. You know, the Eight of Wands is here. It's like you're cutting it, you know, like you're cutting this person off. And then you have here the hermit. I mean, not your person is cutting communication with you. Okay. You got the eight of wands here and the hermit. Okay. Let's see. Six of swords. You have a lot to think about right now, Kinsirian. Ever since that whole... No contact anymore. Let's stop this. You know, I can't be with you. Because um, this is when they put they pull the plug with the Knight of Wands. You can't stop thinking. Now, your concern over here is like, what did I do wrong? Did I do anything wrong that all of a sudden this person, you know, would just change their mind? Like, we were happy. We were fine. And then they changed their mind. Six of Swords. Like, I can't do this. I can't do this. That's what happened here. Like, someone got scared of the commitment. You have the world card, so you're just trying to set yourself free from the situation and just end it. Death card. Well, your person is claiming like this is done. We're over with a death card. Three of Cups is not a reunion card. It does look like for them, it's like if you can't understand this right now, I feel like it's best like you find your happiness and I find my own happiness here. Let me see. Let's ask questions. Okay. So this is a grand reveal. Let's answer a question because... The Seven of Cups to the Ace of Cups, that's a true love right here. So let's see, okay, if they do share that feeling, I mean, is, is it reciprocated? Hermit, if they ghosted you, why? And if they're gonna come back. Four of Wands, will the two of you be together? Okay. Eight of Wands, why are they ignoring you and, you know, they stop communicating? Three of Cups is chance for reconciliation. Death card, are things going to change between the two of you? Knight of Pentacles over here, they have a message. What is that? Let's see. Okay. So this is the grand reveal. Okay. So here, I will answer all your questions in the description box. Link below. Follow me in extended. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Consult a Mystic. Okay. So this is just an impromptu consultation with me because I was on my phone and I was looking at uh, one of a uh, person's question over here is about um, protection from energies at home. So for me, there is this two crystals that is very important to protect yourself from all the negativity around you and outside of your residence. Now, these two crystals are so important that I have it all around my home. Mm -hmm. These two crystals are able to deflect any energies that is not for your higher self or your higher being, which means they're very protective. They're very angelic. They absorb the energy and they deflect it. What I mean by deflecting it, it does not absorb the energy, but what it does is it repels it. Mm -hmm. Have you feel, uh, like, was there a time where you feel sluggish? Where you feel that it's just like you can't, uh, you know, you don't have the vibe in the morning, but the day before you were fine. You may be having what we call also catching the evil eye. When energies change all of a sudden in your life, you're feeling good, you know, energetic. Everything is good. And then, I don't know, you know, because some people's energy around you 
who you don't know or some people that you do know may not mean well towards you. Some people have this in their chart and they're not also aware that they're giving you the evil eye. These are people who can um, say good things towards you and all of a sudden your favorite bracelet is broken and they just basically said like, oh, that's a very nice bracelet. Mm -hmm. In my country, we call it nabate, mm -hmm. which means someone has caused or brought the energy towards you. Now, this also applies in your home. You go out and you come from work, you come from your shopping, you come from your trip, you do bring energies. You are a magnet of energy because you have energy within you. Now ask yourself is, do you have these two important crystals inside your residence? Let me show you what it is. This is selenite. This is black tourmaline. Why do I have it in fours? So I believe that in the four corners of each of residence, like meaning your home, okay, how many homes you have, you have to place this together, okay? Now, you can put it in a window. You can put it, of course, by the doorway. You can put it um, at the back door if you have, um, you know, if you have a front entrance and a back entrance. So any place where an energy can come through. But you're going to ask me also, but Sal, I live in an apartment, so four corners. I have been doing this and have been practicing this forever. Any place that, I, that they do consultation with me, I recommend this um, crystal. So selenite is a very angelic. Mm -hmm. Black tourmaline absorbs that energy. When I was just starting to practice reading and all these things, metaphysical and magical, I always have this. I put this behind my kundalini or my my uh, the lower part of my how to call this of my backbone um and it absorbs all the energy there because i will always feel like i'm running a fever that i'm you know like i'm i just have this hot energy coming from my tailbone all the way spiking up towards my uh, my forehead it's like it's just a heat coming out constantly constantly and before I, I wasn't able to handle it I would get drained by that energy and it feels so like I'm running a high fever basically so this is what I used before you know but you know now okay coming and working with this crystal with the black tourmaline okay um, it has the energy of absorbing energies that is not for you so you put this in the doorway together with this of course selenite we know that this absorbs the energy this can also okay if you're cleansing a crystal this is not this is not a selenite this is a lemurian crystal okay like there are crystals that absorbs energy you can cleanse the crystal some people they tap it okay and then it dispels the energy that the crystal has because crystals do absorb the energy. So this is um, selenite and black tourmaline. Now, there is a link in the description box below. I call it the home essential. I made it myself because anything I practice, I do share to everyone. And someone was just asking um, how to protect your home, your residence, from any kind of negative energy. Again, you will know if there's some sort of negativity inside the home. People are getting sick, okay? And it's already in the home, meaning you carry it with you. Starting to get sick, brain fog, um, you know, like your sink is clogged, um, you have a, you know, your sink, your toilet has issues, water problems, you have, um, how to call this, like, I hope there's no pest because that's a different problem once you have that. Like you will see the energy in the environment and in your space, there's always something wrong. And once it starts to manifest in your health, then of course, that's a, that's a different issue. So I always do the cleanse at the house. Of course, we just had a new moon. There is a full moon coming in on March 6 and March 7. We like to do our cleansing during the full moon. March 6 and 7, depending where you're at, it's going to be in Magha Nakshatra. It is going to be um, a full moon in Sidereal Astrology. That's what I practice. And I like doing my cleansing during the full moon. We just finished the new moon during the Mahashivarati. So it first weakens, waxing and waning. Now it's gaining strength. 
So if you want to do your cleansing and your protection, you can get this in the description box below. The whole kit is available. You get four of these and we'll be happy to um, ship it to you before the 6th and the 7th if you are trying to do some cleansing and protection for your home. Okay, so ever ask that question and for everyone who's finding this information helpful. Now, for everyone who, want, who has some questions with other things mystical and magical, put it in the comments and then I'll answer it next time when I do have the time, but I just have the time today. So I'll see you guys again and that's your home essentials.